Hello everyone, welcome to Chemizon Complete Chemistry. In today's video, we are going to solve question 15 of GATE 2022 chemistry paper. This is based on a photochemical reaction that is called as dipi-methane rearrangement. Now why this is called as dipi-methane rearrangement? Because di means two, pi means there are two pi bonds and methane means both the pi bonds are separated by a sp3 hybridized carbon having that is only one carbon. Okay, this carbon is attached to two methyl groups that is only one carbon is in between the two double bonds that is why this is called as dipi methane rearrangement. Okay, what is the trick for identifying any photochemical reaction? We know it, it occurs in presence of light. Okay, whenever you see H nu or light, you first check for pericyclic reaction and you can also check for photochemical reaction if that is possible or not. Okay, so this is the reactant that is given. So what is the first step in this reaction? Both the pi bonds will break homolytically. Okay, in photochemical reaction, what takes place? Homolytic fission. Okay, what is the meaning of homolytic fission? Homo means same. That is both the atoms, let's say A and B are forming the bond. So when this bond breaks, both the atoms will get one one electron each. That is, we get the formation of free radical. That is the mechanism here. It is going to be what? It is going to be free radical mechanism. Okay, so first step is breaking of both the pi bonds, and what we will get formation of a di radical. Okay, here there is one radical, radical. And here there is one radical and here there is one radical. Okay, we have pH, pH, AR, AR. Okay, now these two electrons will form a cyclopropane ring. Okay, cyclopropane ring is formed. Okay, a cyclopropane ring is formed like this. pH pH here there is one electron and then there is AR AR and here there is one electron okay so now the question is what we have to do next step is we have to break either this bond A or the other option is to break bond B okay so for that what we have to know we have to identify the stability of these radicals okay which is going to be more stable the radical that is more stable will be less reactive. Okay, the radical which is more stable will be less reactive. So, let us check the stability of both this radical. One is pH means there is benzene ring and then to the next carbon there is a radical. And what is AR? AR they have given benzene and at the para position we have cyanide group and this radical so if you see in case of benzene only these six pi electrons are involved in resonance okay that stabilizes the benzene ring or ph group but if you see the ar group here along with the pi bond what else will be involved in resonance is the pi electrons of the cyanide ring okay pi electrons of the cyanide group will also be involved in resonance okay so there is extended conjugation or more number of atoms are present in the resonance structure okay there is extended conjugation that is why ar okay, the ar radical okay the carbon attached the radical attached to ar group is going to be more stable okay so which bond will break with this is going to be more reactive so this will not break this a bond will break okay this is this will be this is less reactive this is less stable and hence it is going to be more reactive this will be more reactive okay and this radical that is directly attached to ar group this is more stable and less reactive Okay, so B double B bond will not break, which will break A bond will break. 
okay so what do we get is okay, here there is ph ph and there is here there is one electron and one electron then this bond remains as it is and then there is this radical here okay, then there are two groups ar ar here there is one radical so what is the last step this will form a pi bond and this will form a three membered ring like this okay, i can draw the ring here okay this is the final product that is formed okay that is double bond ph ph then we have a three membered ring okay here there are two methyl groups and ar and ar okay so this is the final product okay so which is the final product three membered ring you can see there are two ar groups okay three membered ring there are two ar groups and then there is okay three membered ring two ar two methyl groups and double bond across double bond there are two phenyl groups ar ph this is incorrect this is also incorrect okay so the correct answer is option a but this question if you see it was only for one mark so what is the trick for remembering uh, the product of di pi methane rearrangement the group that forms the stable radical okay the group that forms forms the stable radical is always a part of the cyclopropane ring okay that is a three membered ring okay here you will see ar was more stable so it is present it is attached to the three membered ring and the less stable uh, less stable group will be part of the alkene okay so always remember the radical that is more stable will be present uh, it will be attached to the three membered ring so this is a trick that you can remember since this was the first uh, this was one more question if you know the trick you can straight forward see the groups that are attached to three membered ring here there are two ar groups that are more stable you can straight straight away mark option a here there is one ar one ph this is incorrect here there are two ph groups this is also incorrect here you can see there are two ar groups but then you have to be very careful in the question the position of ar is both the aryl ar groups are on the same carbon so it will remain in the same at the, attached at the same carbon so option d is incorrect so the only correct answer is option a i hope you have understood the mechanism and the trick for solving this question thank you